upstairs. Yo, she walks like a fucking dinosaur. Or the Flintstones. It's like she digs her heels into the floor. I think she does it on purpose. But maybe not. But here's the thing. I complained to management last year. But it just could be me, maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking that. But put it this way, it didn't get any better. And like, sometimes, rarely, it'll be past quiet hours, you know? It'll be like at 12.30, 12.45, 1 a.m. Like if she's going to the bathroom or if something's going on. And then she gets up at 7 a.m. And so I sometimes get up before that. Or sometimes I get up after. And if she wakes me up from her stomping after 7 a.m., it's hard for me to go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about... Because, like, why do I have to deal with that? I'm not going to go talk to her. I don't, I don't like confrontation in that way. And people will be wild. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't want to have to do that. I just hope she moves out. Or I'm moving out. Well, I'm going to move out anyways. I think I want to move next year. But I'm not sure where I want to move. You know, I think, um, I definitely want to be somewhere where it's warmer more often throughout the year, but I guess now with the climate change, things are shifting with that, so that may not even be a thing, I don't know, but, um, I'm not a fan of, like, really cold weather, you know, even though, like, snow and all of that can be beautiful um it's the temperature that is not my thing you know I love to be able to walk outside and just be in like some shorts and a t-shirt and feel comfortable you know what I'm saying now I also don't want like to be like too damn hot I don't want to be walking outside and sweat dripping from my balls and shit. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, I mean, sometimes that's affordable, I guess. You know, fellas, you know. But, um, shit, women, you know, too, just in a different way. I know y'all, okay, let me, let me move on. Anyways, um, yeah, so... And I also want a place that's more, um, ecstatic, you know, um, more, more things happening. The thing is, is that, like, I love city life, but I love suburban life, too. I, I just want a mix of both. You know, where I lived before, one thing I loved is that I could walk to station, jump on a train station, and then be in a big-ass city, like, not that far, basically, I lived in Jersey City, and I could jump on the path train, and then from the path train, I could be into Manhattan in, like, no time, or I could go to another borough, you know, and when I lived up there, it was dope, but then it also was, like, expensive, and a lot was going on that I wanted to get away from. Well, not a lot. See, living up there, it was like all city, all lively, all energy. No quiet, no, at least not my experience, not where um, I was located. No, I just felt like I was always hustling, bustling, you know. And I wanted a slower speed at times. 
also wanted that like city feel you know where walkable areas and all that but you really can't have both at the same time because they're, they're opposite they're contrast but what I can't have is like a place where it's quiet for the most part but I still have quick access to um, uh, the, the city but the quiet part that would really depend on like neighbors and stuff you know what I'm saying that's what would determine that you know so I don't know hmm what to do what to do so another thing that is going on in my life is um I have been on a certain um what's the word I want to use let me think 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 physical journey I guess you could say meaning fitness journey both fitness and nutrition basically um like I've worked with a trainer for six months and now I'm just continuing the workouts on my own and um you know what is so hard for me though in this whole fitness journey is um the food yo uh, I love to eat first of all <laughs> yes that too um but I love to eat and but it's it's not just I love to eat it's the fact that it is challenge for, challenging for me to eat more for the sake of muscle building but it's also challenging for me to eat less of the things that are totally nutritious nutritional nutritional for instance sugar oh my gosh y'all I don't just have a sweet tooth. I have a sweet fucking mouth. <laughs> All my teeth are sweet. I love, I love sweets. Or I just love sweet. I love sugar, you know. And I know that too much of it is not a good thing. Then, um, okay, I'm not necessarily a fast food junkie, but not junkie, but um, fast food fanatic. But I eat out more than I need to and it's not always the most healthy you know what I'm saying so I'm cutting down on that I'm cutting, cutting down on that and then I'm trying to increase my water intake that's huge improve on my sleep oh gosh like y'all my sleep got terrible where I was getting like five six hours of sleep sometimes a little less but also just going to sleep too late at night and i've been reading this book on it's called why we sleep i forgot the author's name but um it emphasizes the importance of getting enough sleep and how we need like eight hours and i know that people are probably like everybody's different i get that to each their own i need eight hours because I noticed that when I did that, I noticed changes in my body and my overall morale and energy. And I want to keep that, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so back to the food. Uh, I wish I had a, I wish I had a, I wish I had a personal chef. Um. I wish I could cook better, I mean, that's what it is, you know, and I wanted to try like a food, a food prep delivery type service, but every time I do research, the view, I mean, the comments and the reviews are not that great, and I hear that it's expensive, and just, I don't know. If I really want it, then I will continue to pursue, you know. At least I, that's what I play for the most part. So, I'll get it together. 
Y'all, it's already 2023 and we're almost halfway through the first month. <laughs> oh, let me, this chapstick. It's so good. It's Sarasville, I think that's how you say it. C-E-R-E-S-V-I-L-L-E, -E -E, Sarasville Mansion. And um, this particular one is a coconut aloe vera and here's the thing it feels good but you know how anything you put on your lips and you you know what I'm saying and of course when you lick your lips you gotta kinda taste what's on your lips you know what I'm saying and this the taste of this from licking my lips after applying it mmm it's good you know that's why there's like like this is watermelon that's why they make those type of um flavors because they know that you can smell it and taste it you know I mean it ain't like you just dum 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 like eating I hope not but um yeah it's good I like it mmm but anyways, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you know, each day I am just going to keep trying to be in the moment. Have you guys heard of Mochi? I think it's M-O-O-C-H-I. Or N O no, 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 M-O-O-C. Oh, I can't remember how it's spelled. But, um, he's like a spiritual teacher or a, yeah, an affirmative teacher, like Eckhart Tolle, you've heard of Eckhart Tolle. So anyways, I've been reading their material and watching some videos, and I am continuously learning to be in the moment and to, um, not live in the past and not live in the future per se, you know, and just trying to, at times, have no thoughts, and be in that state of just existence, and I think that'll be beneficial for me in terms of anxiety, um, social and performance, um, and by performance, I mean musically, I don't know if all of y'all know that I am a teacher, a uh, uh, vocal health specialist, um, and I'm a singer. So anyways, so I'll have some music coming out this year, some more music, so hopefully y'all will check it out. And if you haven't checked out my, my most recent single, you should. It's um, Michael Bryant, and it's um, No Love But Your Love. So look up Michael Bryant no love but your love and you can stream it on all the platforms you know download it and see if you like it it's a remake of a oldie song okay so but yeah um i forgot what i was talking about again <laughs> what was i saying something about anxiety taking something for something um i don't even know I was saying something, but it went away. It went away like a cloud. <laughs> what am I talking about, y'all? All right, well, this fulfills ASMR request number one. Oh, well, let me give a shout out, okay? So all the screen is too bright. Damn. Okay, there we go. So just so y'all know, um, shout out to uh, oh. So you know I'm doing it in a random order. Okay, so but shout out to B. Like the letter B. Like So 
also be in their comment was, and this is on the video of me asking, what type of videos do y'all want to see from me in 2023? So their comment was, rambling, exclamation mark. I hate roleplay ASMR, lol. <laughs> well, you know that's my specialty and it's going to be a lot more roleplays. But I'm, just, I'm happy to have done this rambling for you, so I hope that you enjoyed it. And for those of you who like rambling as well, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video, whatever that's going to be, because I don't know yet. What y'all think I just be eating it down like that? Alright. Y'all are so silly. I gotta go.